Okay, this screencast is going to take us through the planning process for a space that we would like to create, a design space in this case for, for teachers within Ultranet. And I've decided to use an online mind mapping tool called MindMeister to help me with that planning process. So in the centre here, I've put the name of the space that I'm planning to create. And I've followed the file naming conventions within Ultranet to create the, the space name. So it begins with the school name, that's Deb's Place Primary School, followed by the intended audience, which in this case would be the staff, um, followed by the topic of the space, and that would be um, numeracy. Surrounding that um, space name are the pages that I would like to include on my um, Ultranet space. And in this case, I'm starting with the home page, which would probably include a purpose statement for the space, perhaps a calendar to remind us of when meetings are, and some reminders for staff might be included on that space. Moving to another page dedicated to PLT meetings that would include the agenda and uh, the minutes. Then moving to an assessment um, page, which would look at assessment schedules and would include some sub-pages dedicated to the departments of the school followed by some information around the numeracy observation checklist and perhaps some web links to direct staff to some online resources. I would like to have a page for professional learning and this might include some RSS feeds to some, some good mathematical blogs, perhaps some web links to great um, websites and I would like to include a message board that facilitates professional conversations around numeracy at our school. Now, moving across the mind map we have a page dedicated to resources and this is where we would upload using a reference library and uh, an image gallery all of the Word documents, photographs, images, graphics, spreadsheets, anything that we can upload from our own computer that we would like to share with the, um, the rest of the staff would go on that page. And then I'd like to have a page dedicated to the learning environment that looks at um, lesson structure within um, maths and perhaps ways that we can embed the E5 instructional model within our, our numeracy sessions. Now there's only one part for me to add and that's um, some pages around the curriculum, the actual maths curriculum. And I would probably include here some sub pages. So I'm just adding some more nodes there. This one might be for um, number. So I'm going to, I think, put a page for each dimension there. And this one might be space. I'm going back to the curriculum word so that I can add another bubble and in this one I might add, let's see, how about measurement and chance data. Be good if that had a capital letter. And going back to curriculum to add another one for structure and a sub page I might add towards working mathematically. And I think that probably completes my space. So I'm fairly happy with what that space is going to look like. That doesn't mean I won't make changes to it as I go along, but at least I've got a clear idea now of what kind of information I would like to include in my numeracy space and how I'd like to organise it. So I think I've planned out my space.